to observe. Wild ride on S&P for the last 30 minutes. Bullish trend came to reversal zone and collapsed. Very, very jittery structure. We do not acquire a position anywhere near this level to the upside. And we are monitoring this wild ride because we do not short into reversal zone. We expected buyers to pick up this team. So wild ride back and forth continues. This is gambling. This is not trading. It's only prudent to monitor. Anything is possible. Buyers and sellers are 50-50 because reversal zones are so close. The only buying opportunity was pre-market at 18.47. Price made it to 18.51. That was the only prudent entry. Nothing prudent about shorting into this level or buying into this level. Very critical to understand and respect what structure is telling you. Wild ride on S&P in full bloom. S&P continues its wild dance, reminding you what happens if you're acquiring position at the reversal zone. Ouch! Bad idea. Prudent trader monitors the response at this level. Prudent trader knows it's a bad idea to short into this level. We're witnessing one of the wildest rides ever on S&P and the power of alpha wave trader proprietary Fibonacci levels that's spelling out to you do not buy anywhere near this level and do not sell anywhere near this level this becomes gambling not trading S&P in bullish correction if S&P blasts through this level it will continue further down but this is critical this is a time to respect the fluff this is what price is doing. Reversal zone is reached. Two point dance is on. Big day to remind you how critical it is to respect reversal zones and not to acquire position anywhere here. Bullish correction is on. We are monitoring patiently. Sing. Once again, we're witnessing reversal zone playing out. Wave class reminder, my beautiful, amazing, fabulous Alfies. Yay! What an amazing morning it is, right before Easter. Reminding you, nothing in this world is random. Choose a key, choose a T, price spelled out. Respect me, obey me, and adore me. Know when to stay out. Will buyers pick up this team, or is this a fake out? Rule number one in the course, do not ever acquire trend position at reversal zone. We're witnessing one of the wildest rides during this beautiful Easter week, Conforming how marvelous and beautiful price is. Confirmation. That's nothing in this world is random. All S&P has to do is blast through decision point one. Doesn't have the juice to get out of the bullish correction and give us the meaning. So the wild ride on S&P continues. Will S&P finally make up its mind? This has been truly a phenomenal, phenomenal dance. So the reason why it's been so dangerous is because price continues doing corrective moves at reversal zones, giving us no powerful point of entry. Only one trade set up this morning pre-market. Buy point at 18.47, up. There's no meaning and very, very choppy morning with very dangerous structure reminding you how critical it is to know and respect reversal zone. Picture perfect morning to remember that.